Welcome to another tutorial with JP here at Learn Brizzy Page Builder. It is September the 2nd and yes, we are slowly moving out of winter this side. Officially in South Africa, we always celebrate spring. In Afrikaans, we say Lente, Lente Dag, Spring Day on September the 1st. And you know, I, I always have fond memories of this day going to school and you would go around the, the garden picking spring blossoms and flowers and that day would just be a mess at school with all the jasmine and all the various kind of flowers that people will be bringing to school and we we just kind of celebrate the fact that on september 1st we officially enter spring and we are leaving winter behind winter is not leaving us behind it keeps coming back and slamming the door in our face a few times but slowly we are passing it on to you guys up there in the north enjoy it's coming your way this morning I want to do something based on what we had discovered over the weekend and in preparation of the upcoming dynamic content features that will be released together with the templates. Um, I actually have Jonathan Owen on the Brizzy Forum to thank for that because he, I had shown something and he had done it and then it didn't look the same and it was very interesting to see exactly how themes can affect how things look on your website. And this is a question that we get all the time. Why do I need a theme? What is the purpose of a theme? And this is a very complicated answer because on the one hand, there are very important aspects to a theme, but on the other hand, they are becoming less and less valuable because more and more page builders are taking over the functions of the theme and you have now what we call site builders. And a site builder is something that makes your theme totally useless, basically. There are pros and cons, and there's a lot of debate going on about that. And I do not want to get into that debate at all today. So this is not a review. This is not an assessment of which one is better. This is purely to show you something that we have discovered over the weekend and that you have to take into consideration when you are working with your posts, in particularly when you are working with the WordPress editor. The reason that is important, you will see, is that your posts in your WordPress is usually done in your WordPress editor. And that function is controlled by the theme, not by the page builder. So it doesn't matter which page builder you have installed, if you are working in the WordPress editor, most of that is controlled by the theme. So a lot of the page builders now have brought in dynamic content, which allows you to make your own post and post archive pages, make your own headers and footers and style it the way you would like it. But many people still prefer using the theme and many page builders still need to use the theme. And at this moment, while we are slowly, slowly transitioning into a very full pro feature for Brizzy, you will depend on a theme. And this is a question that we see all the time, five times a day on the Brizzy forum, which theme should I use? And the answer for that is number one, your personal preference. And number two, what you want to do with it. If you just want to build small pages, usually the kind of theme doesn't matter that much. But at this moment, if you are post news blog focused, I would say your theme is going to still make a difference and I'm going to show you why. So this is just what we discovered and it's just for you to observe. It's not like a judgment or anything. It doesn't mean one theme is better than the other. It is something that if you run into it and you scratch your head and you wonder why is it doing this, then you will maybe recall this video. So I've decided to start this with the 2017 theme that is the default installation on any WordPress site. And then we're going to look at Astra, Customify, Featured Light, Flexia, Generate Press, Hestia, Ocean WP, Suki, and the Journal. It's quite a number. I think it's altogether nine, but we'll do it very quickly so you won't fall asleep. We are going to be looking at posts only. So I will go and I will add a new post. And then let's call this theme themes and the post WordPress 
editor. And doesn't make much sense, but we, that's what we're going to do over here. And then let's give it a heading, smart, catchy heading. And we give it some text. We go to randomtextgenerator.com. Let's copy this two paragraphs and paste them. And then let's make a second heading, another awesome heading. And then we add some more text. And if you get tired of this text here, all you do is you click again here on go and it will generate new text for you. So just say la 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 and paste this. Good. Now we have our post content. Let's style it. So I'm going to make these two headings, heading two, heading two, and I'm going to add a picture. I want to add a picture here in front of stimulated. You'll see later on why I want to add it there. And then I'm going to choose a picture over here. I'm going to put it at medium size and I enter it and then click on it, align to the left and you will see that it will flush the text to the right. And then for this one, I'm going to also put a picture here with bed who perceive judgment. Um, what does that mean? And medium again, in click, click it. And then for this one, click on it and flush it to line right. Okay, let's just add maybe two categories so we can see the different themes. Let's call this work, something to do with work. And then some, what else can we have in work? Unions. Oh, let's have some, no, no. let's not make people angry. Let's call it uh, office. Do -do -do. Office. And then we can add a few tags just again to see how the theme like work, uh, union, uh, why I keep office, uh, coffee, coffee break, just a few of that. And then let's add a featured image. And I'm just going to choose the same one over here. Good. And now we've added the featured image and let's publish it. Now this, remember, is our 2017. And this is what your editor basically can do for you. Preview changes so we can have a look. And there is our featured image, number one. And this up here is, of course, how the theme will display when you have a menu. And then here is your uh, post title, your second heading. And then you can see here is your text with the images, your metadata, and then comment at the bottom. And over here we have our categories in the sidebar, tags, and then recent news. This is important to understand. This is how it looks. And this is determined by the theme. Now, one thing that I don't like is this white space here. What I would have loved is that this title here could have moved up here so that it doesn't break like it does here. And this is what Jonathan and I discovered over this weekend is that actually the themes display this differently. And we are going to go now through these themes alphabetically to show you, and you have to decide, do you need it or not? Because it appears that some themes can and cannot do it. Let's go first to our themes under appearance themes. And then we will activate the one that I had used recently, which was Suki. And I'm just going to click on activate. And once Suki becomes our new theme, we're going to refresh this page. Now remember this white space over here. And we refresh and look at that. This is how Suki handles our single posts. You can see now here is their header. This is the image. Here is their sidebar. And this is how they handle the contents. Quite different than the 2017. And that is why a theme gives you more flexibility and each theme is going to do it differently. So yes, we see that Suki can do what I would like. Remove that white space there and align all the text up and down. Let's go have a look at our other babies. The next one is Astra, very popular theme. And let's activate Astra and then we refresh this. Well, right. So for people who are big Astra users, be aware of it that Astra does not do that thing that I like. You know, this is OK if this is what you want. But then you will have to remember to take this image and maybe place it up here in your word editor so that you have more text here on the side.
but it's not going to bring this heading up here unless that can be done in the pro. And by the way, we're only looking at the free versions at this moment. So next one on the list is Customify, also a very popular one. And we activate our friend Customify. Let's have a look, Mr. Customify. And Customify cannot do it. Also a huge white space. And for this one, you will probably have to take the image and move it all the way up here to make sure that the text does not leave this amount of white space unless you want that. And this is how the entire Customify page will look. Right, next one after Customify is Featured Light. Now, if you don't know Featured Light, go check it out. It's from a company called themehunk.com. I will leave a link below. And I had seen it on the Brizzy forum and I decided, let me go check one of the free themes. And what does Featured Light do? Featured Light, oh, not bad. Featured Light applies quite a lot of styling, metadata up here, and they have a very nice way. Okay, they, the block is definitely a little bit wider, but look at, they handle this pretty well, very, very well. I'm very impressed. I didn't expect anything from this theme, but after I had tested it just for this video, I was like, wow, okay, not bad. So Featured Light allows for text to go up and be displayed next to the image. After Featured Light is one that I saw on madewithbrizzy.com recommended called Flexia. And let's see if Flexia can be flexible. We activate our friend Flexia and go and do this. Flexia looks quite different in terms of layout. You can see up here how the metadata is displayed, but Flexia also adds that white space there when after the paragraph break. So be aware of it that Flexia will not be able to take your heading and put it here. Now, next one is Generate Press. Generate Press also very popular. I would say up there with the four recommended themes that we often see. Let's do that. And yeah, Generate Press does a very nice clean post display and it can do this part. The thing that I want, remove that white space and move the text up, very nice alignment. So Generate Press can do that. Another one that I've found on madewithbrizzy.com that is recommended is Hestia. Activate and let's see if Hestia can. And we refresh. Ah, and Hestia, very interesting, even has a parallax kind of header at the top. This is free. Remember, these are all free versions and I'm hopefully you can style the colors. I haven't played around with it. Very nice icons there. And it also takes the text up here. So I'm pretty sure when you go into the customizer for these themes, you can adjust the width. So like this kind of header that breaks like this with the line height a little bit too much for me. Um, maybe you can go in and style the width of your column and layout. Hestia. So yeah, nice one. Hestia, if you didn't know about Hestia. And then the other very, very popular one, Ocean WP. Now, let's see if Ocean WP can do what I want. And reset. Ocean WP, very similar. I think this was similar to the Suki layout, right? The image up here with the text here. And very nice. Whoa, I really like this. I like the, the whole layout at, up here, very clean. And it looks very business-like, so it matches the pictures very well. And yes. Very nicely done. So Ocean WP gets it. And then the last one is actually one from the Brizzy developers at themefuse.com called one of their free versions called The Journal. You can also find this in the WordPress database, The Journal. And this will be our last one to check. Activate this. And then we go there. And let's reset it. Refresh. Okay, Journal. Very nicely cursive and journal has very interesting styling. You know, some margin, negative margin applied. No, it's not because here is our image. It's not negative margin. It's probably indent margin flushing here for the text, but very nicely done. I would have liked to see a little bit more space here above this so that the text and the image is not that close to each other. 
But yes, it can do that. It brings our text here to the spot that I would like it. Now, I, I mentioned at the beginning, so I'm going to reiterate that. This is not a review, and this is not one is better than the other. This was an observation, and we had tested this because we were testing the new dynamic content that Brizzy had released, and one of that will be when you are working with posts. Now, here I have these horizontal photos, but once you work with a portrait vertical line that the photo goes like this, you're going to have more of that white space on those themes that couldn't do it. So the themes that could were Featured Light, Generate Press, Hestia, Ocean WP, Suki, and The Journal. And those are things that if they are important to you, you will have to go and consider it because you also have to think about what the theme can do as well in terms of your heading, in terms of your styling and all those other flexible, flexible custom, customization. Phew, so early in the morning is not a good thing and I've only had one cup of coffee. Right, so this is just an interesting look at the themes because you know one thing that will still be connected to the theme for a very long time to come will be probably the posts until Brizzy has completely transitioned into a full site builder which may take a few years the theme integration with Brizzy will still be very very important and these will be things that we will discover as we go along that some themes can maybe do something better and other themes can do something else better so very interesting to find this and it doesn't mean like I said that it doesn't mean that the theme you use is bad. It's just that you have to be aware that the theme is maybe doing things a little bit different than other themes. And to me, this was very interesting because I never even thought about it. And this was pointed out to me by Jonathan because he was trying to replicate what I had done. And he wasn't doing the same. He was using 2017 and I was using Suki. And then we realized definitely the theme how it integrates with the WordPress editor makes a lot of difference. So these are all vanilla installs. There's been no customization to these themes. There's no short codes been installed or other extra plugins. This is out of the box. Of course, once we go into short codes or other, you know, other plugins that you can use for styling, you may have far more flexibility. Upcoming in this week, we will have a look at templates and dynamic content for the Brizzy releases and enjoy the rest of your weekend.